We're, so we're back for part two of nutrition. So we're talking about minerals, uh, major and minor, just like before. With major, we need a, a, a large majority of the minor, we need a small amount. More specifically, with the major, we need more than 100 milligrams per day. With the minor, we need less than 100 milligrams per day. Um, so I'll be focusing very quickly just on the major. Uh, so again, more than 100 milligrams per day. These include calcium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and chloride. So we need a, more than 100 milligrams per day. With a minor, uh, we need less than 100 milligrams per day. With calcium, some sources, milk, cheese, uh, probably going to be the most common, uh, leafy green vegetables, whole grains. Uh, the biggest thing is, is the use of calcium and the function is going to be bone formation. It also helps uh, with the muscle contraction of both of the uh, myocardial and skeletal muscle and nerve conduction. So all this is very important. Uh, as we mentioned before, um, it is dependent upon the vitamin D. So we have to have uh, the vitamin D for the bones to, to absorb the calcium. Deficiency in calcium uh, can cause osteoporosis. So that's also very, very important. Very important to know. Sodium, so table salt. So we we'll just think of, of our, our typical salt. Sodium, um, you'll see table salt, sodium chloride, NaCl, and we need this for normal um, fluid balance in the body, and this uh, helps regulate nerve uh, transmission and cell membrane. Deficiency may be uh, headaches, confusion, weakness, nausea, hypotension. Potassium, this is not to be confused with vitamin K. So potassium is a mineral. Vitamin K is a vitamin. So keep those two separate. Again, students like to confuse those two. Sources of potassium, oranges, bananas, um, are probably the, the largest. Uh, red meats, vegetables, yams, milk products, and this is very important. Patients who take diuretics, and we'll discuss this later when we talk about the cardiovascular, but patients um, who have low potassium uh, should, should um, can, can either supplement that basically two ways. One is by taking a potassium supplement um, or to take the pharmacological way, the non-pharmacological way would be eat more sources of potassium. So uh, bananas, oranges, orange juice, and this helps maintain normal cell and cardiac and muscle function. So patients may also experience uh, muscle cramps, weakness, nausea, etc. Uh, with uh, low potassium or hypokalemia. Uh, deficiency can cause a weakness, a paralysis, a cardiac arrhythmias. Uh, all of these both uh, can be problems with um, uh, low potassium or hypokalemia. Um, iron so sources, meat, eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, A's and synthesis of hemoglobin, we'll be discussing that in a moment, and just general metabolism. So if a patient has low iron, that can cause anemia. and the toxicity can be fatal. So you'll see that uh, over-the-counter iron is packaged in unit dose, and the theory behind that is that if a child gets into the iron and has to push each tablet out, that someone will uh, find that child before they have taken too much iron. At least that's the theory behind it. Uh, again, with the uh, iron toxicity, um, Saline cause of poison in young children, symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and if not treated immediately, can cause brain, kidney, liver, and heart damage. So iron toxicity is very serious. Iodine, uh, we typically get this from table salt uh, and seafood, um, but it will help uh, synthesize T4, which you'll need, f it's one of the thyroid hormones. T3 and T4 are your two thyroid hormones, and we'll be discussing that when we talk about the endocrine system. And it basically controls your your basal metabolic rate. So um, T3, T4, very important. Iodine, T4. And deficiency, deficiency can cause a border. And we'll be discussing that in more detail 
when we talk about the um, endocrine system. Fluoride, so sources, fish, tea, prevents dental um, and strengthens uh, the teeth uh, and uh, withstands uh, erosion. So uh, you'll see fluoride um, in toothpaste and um, also there is a fluoride by prescription. Uh, there is both the gel and a actual PO tablet form of the fluoride. The minerals needed for homeostasis. Uh, these are just a few, but some of the important ones. So for, uh, you may see this in an upcoming quiz or, or exam. Um, and I would accept both the abbreviation or the actual name. So uh, very important to, to look over all of these. Um, and we have discussed these as well, but it's very important to go back and look over these. The sodium, chloride, potassium, uh, calcium, and iron. The four fat-soluble vitamins, the, the way that, or the trick that I use, instead of Kool-Aid, think of K-Aid, K-A-D-E. And again, these are your four fat-soluble vitamins. So the, your other vitamins are going to be water-soluble. So for example, and I'm just making this up, but if it was vitamin W, well, vitamin W would be water soluble vitamins because the only four fat soluble vitamins are KAD. The three things that will increase hemoglobin that we discussed, and I will emphasize this more, and you will see this again, I promise you, in a quiz or exam. So the three things that you need to increase hemoglobin are iron, folic acid, or folate, and vitamin B12. So iron, folic acid, B12. These are the three things that will increase hemoglobin. So if you have a patient who has low hemoglobin levels, uh, the experience of anemia, then you can give the iron, folic acid, and vitamin B12 to increase the hemoglobin. Sodium chloride, I mentioned this briefly before, and I'll discuss it a little more now. The blood contains approximately 0.9% sodium chloride. This is also equivalent to normal saline, uh, which is abbreviated NS. So your body has approximately 0.9% sodium chloride. Well, that's what the that's what the back of normal saline. So if you see a patient who just is uh, is on a normal saline or NS is also referred to, they're getting 0.9% sodium chloride, and then again, that is what your body um, approximately what your your blood contains, and that is all of the lecture.